pleased to be included. And your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Ladies. Professor Shah. Astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry-eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight we will be on the observation deck. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no, bring it into focus on your own. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very selfsame stars above us. Is that clear? <sighs> Dismissed. Oh, uh, hello. Good to see you again. We Ravenclaws must stick together. <laughs> oh, hello, Armit. Nice to see you again. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. That's very kind of you, Amit. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first-rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, I... I thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some, uh, reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. I tried to put off my stargazing as long as I could. Not good that did. This was his old telescope. <laughs> Looks practically <sighs> I have the telescope. It's nicer than I'd expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunoscope. <laughs> but there is, um, something else. Yes, what is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. And you need someone to help find it. I do. Are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. No need to convince me. Let's get going. Brilliant. You won't regret it. Shall we? The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform, something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. 
Onwards we go. Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Huh. It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Here I am, charging ahead. Uh, why don't you lead the way? If you're sure. Hmm. A little foreboding. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Revelio. Oh, of course. It's just not as uh, tidy as I expected. Confringo! More cobwebs. You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? Oh, no. Not this close to school, I mean. I think you should do the honors. Go on, try it out. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. As soon as you've lined up the telescope, we will be able to fill out our star chart. Stargazing is all about patience and precision. right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Thank you, Amit. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> this is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest, all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Ahem. Anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. I am glad that you received my owl. We need to stay low and remain quiet. Lassie, what's going on? Why are we all the way out here? As promised, I did some investigating to find out what Harlow is up to. I followed him to the hog's head. I noticed him reading a letter. All I could see was that it was signed by and bore the seal of Victor Rookwood. And after you told me that Rookwood and Harlow were after you, I decided that you were the perfect person to join me in taking them down, for good. That letter is the tangible proof that Officer Singer needs. It is why I followed Harlow here and why I wrote to you. I need your help to retrieve it. You seem to be very determined in stopping Rookwood and Harlow. Why? I knew men like him in Uganda. I know how bad things can get if they are not stopped. It's a long story, one I promise to share when we have more time. For now, let's do what we came to do. Can't we just bypass Officer Singer and go directly to the Ministry? Do you think they will listen to a student? Only Officer Singer can start an investigation. The Ministry will come in later. I'll help you find the letter, Natty. I'm glad to hear it. First, we must access the Castle Keep. I'll check the main gate, see if you can find another way in. I do not see any guards, but we should still try to be as quiet as possible. Hollow is here, after all.
Wingardium Leviosa. Well, that didn't work. Perhaps something with a bit more force. Depulsa. That did it. Wingardium Leviosa. Huh. Revelio. Wingardium Leviosa. Leviosa. Revelio. I need to find a way into the gatehouse to open the gate for Natty. Akio! Revelio! Be another way in. Akio. That looks as if it might raise the gate. Akio. Wingardium Leviosa. Capulso. Revelio. Confringo. Depulse. Wingardium Leviosa. Depulse. Revelio. Wingardium Leviosa. Capulso. Akio. Wingardium Leviosa. Thank 
kill. Kabolso! I kill. I knew you could do it. This way. I will get the door. <laughs> that is the main keep. My guess is that we'll find Halo and the letter inside. We'll need to be careful once we get... <gasps> I hear them. Yeah. Restrain the beast! Hi Wang. Do you know that hippogriff? Get this thing back to the now. Very well. New plan. I get the evidence and you free that hippogriff. Agreed? This is our chance. Go! Blasted! There's gotta be another way to get up to the roof. Somewhere. I hope Natty stays out of trouble. <coughs> Revelio! Not the safest place to sneak into. Revelio. Important though, aren't they? Even in a fight. Play. Presumptive. Not so tough now, are 
Alohomora. Revelio. I hope Natty's having an easier time of it. You're going home in a wooden box! Let me out of What have you done? Rebellio. Alohomora. Rebellio. Revelio. 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 I wing. It's all right. There we go. <gasps> there you are. Come on. A lot more. The Hogwarts Express must be returning from an unscheduled run.
It's incredible, isn't it? <laughs> it was exhilarating, wasn't it? I wasn't sure we were going to make it out alive. <laughs> there was no need to worry. I had it all under control. Were you able to find the letter? Summoned it straight out of Harlow's hands. <laughs> I will say, I did not expect to see him cast the killing curse at us. He won't forget this. Be on your guard. Of course. What did the letter say? That Rookwood's looking for a phoenix. <laughs> Not sure where he will find one. But it also included Harlow's orders to inspect that castle for the poachers. Enough to connect Harlow to the crimes. I shall deliver the letter to Officer Singer. She'll have to do something when she sees it. Now, tell me, where did you meet these hippogriffs? I've only met Hyrum before. Poppy introduced us. Poppy Sweeting knows a hippogriff. <laughs> of course she does. Poppy will be relieved to know that High Wing's safe. I came to the right person for help. My mother will be worried. I must go. Seek me out soon. I shall have much to tell you. I have learned of a wizard who is being harassed by Harlow. He may be able to provide the evidence we need to take Harlow down. We should speak with him together. Meet me at his home. When you have a moment, please stop. Deke like tells me he has some. I assume you have news regarding the goblin you mentioned. Hello, Homora. Discuss that and our next steps. Is this Mr. Bickle's home? I believe so. He supposedly has evidence against Harlow. We need to speak with him. Off and Where could Archie have gone? Are you all right? We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband is dead. He killed him. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Bickle. Who killed your husband? Theophilus Harlow. I'm sure of it. He's been threatening my husband for weeks, and... Oh, where is my son? Where is Archie? He must be around here somewhere. When did you last see him? Archie was home with his father while I was out. His satchel's missing. Hopefully he's just gone wandering, as he's prone to do. I hope he wasn't here when Harlow... <laughs> when my husband... Do you know which way Archie might have gone? Um, he has a little hideout in the forest south of here. He never wanders far. But if he witnessed Harlow doing something to his father, uh, I'm afraid to leave in case he comes back home. What reason would Harlow have to kill your husband? My husband had been looking into Harlow's dealings and discovered some of what he's been up to. I begged him to leave it alone, but he... He was convinced that... <laughs> Is there anything more you can tell me about Harlow? Oh, he's Victor Rookwood's second in command. 
A miserable, awful creature. Vicious and murderous. We'll find your son, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> Please do not worry, Mrs. Bickle. We will bring Archie home. When I took the letter we found to Officer Singer, she told me about Mr. Bickle. He had been doing the same thing we are, providing Officer Singer with evidence to take down Halo. I had hoped to speak with him about what he had found, but we were too late. What did Officer Singer say about the lesson you brought her? She thanked me, but she found out that it was not enough. It is a shame that hypocrites cannot speak. Your friend Highway could find Revelio. evidence against Halo that we need. We will need something more. This must be little Archie's hideout that Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Archie? Archie Bickle! He would not have done this to his own hideout. Someone came here looking for him. Revelio may be our only hope of finding out which way he went. There! Archie's footprints. He went this way. I thought we would have found Archie by Rebellion. now. Rebellion. I suspect he'll keep running if he's being followed. If it is Harlow that's pursuing him, I only hope you're right. Men like Harlow would not think twice about killing a child. We must find Archie quickly. Wolves! Prepare for a fight. Archie's satchel. Why would he leave it behind? He was likely running from Hollow, distracted. This may be a good time for Revelio again. Archie went this way. I have a bad feeling about this. Hollow must have a reason for pursuing Archie. I wonder what Archie saw. I hope he didn't see Harlow kill his father. He would never overcome it. At least not in any way I can imagine. A fork in the road. This is not good. They went this way. <sighs> Levioso. No, you don't. They're Strauss. They're beautiful, are they not? You can see Thestrals too. I witnessed that when I was nine. Saw my first Thestral shortly thereafter. Rebellion. Multiple sets of footprints. 
Harlow caught up to him here. This is not good. They went this way. Let me also. I'll look after you. Thestrals. They are beautiful, are they not? You can see Thestrals too. I witnessed death when I was nine. So my first Thestral shot me there after. I found comfort in it. I still do. I think those of us who have witnessed death deserve some comfort. Let me answer. I'm sorry you experienced something like that at so young an age. I was with my father when he died. My mother was a widow, but I felt quite helpless. It was a long time ago in some ways, but in other ways, it seems like... Akio! I still see him so clearly. Revelio! You must miss him. My father was a wonderful man, and... Mm, let us keep moving. We must find Achi. As I fear, I have Archie. Guardian Leviosa. There can be no mistakes. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Rebellion. I did not expect this tent to be so large on the inside. That complicates things a little. Lumos. Lumos. I understand. Oh. Don't think he saw it happen, do you? He's just a child. We should return this to Dallas. Ravenio. what they deserved. Archie Bickle. How do you know who I am? Your mother sent us to find you. Oh, I'm so lucky. Revelio. Not too loud, Archie. Sorry. We need to get this open. Aloha, Mora. Man, 
Carlo. He killed my father. We're so sorry, Archie. We won't let him get away with it. But first, we need to get you home to your mother. Thank you for saving me. We wouldn't have it any other way, Archie. Now let's get you home. We know a safe way back. I wonder who lives here. I heard the people who took me talking about them. Which friends, darling? Mr. and Mrs. Ray, Mr. Filbert, and I think they also said Otto's name. Oh, I shall speak with them. You run inside. Yes, Mother. Your husband's friends may be in danger. Just as he was. How can we help? You've done enough. My husband was a powerful wizard and couldn't defeat Harlow. The last thing we need is that monster coming after you. It may be too late for that. I'm afraid Harlow's already after us. Then you needn't anger him further. I assure you, the threat could be a lot worse. Please, please keep your distance. I'm sorry again about your husband, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. And thank you for bringing Archie home. I can never repay the two of you for your kindness. <laughs>